Hey guys, Gavin from Go Surfing San Diego. Today we are catching sunset down here at La Jolla Shores, one of the best beginner surf spots in San Diego. I'll tell you why it's the best beginner spot in this video. Please subscribe below before continuing on. When arriving to La Jolla Shores, the easiest place to park is probably, or is the lot called Kellogg Park. Um, if you can find a spot here, you are in luck. It's a little difficult during weekend days, um, but if it is full, then you can just pull into uh, the street parking nearby. That's all free as well as the parking in the lot. Um, but yeah, come early or like tonight, come at sunset and you'll find a spot. After parking, you'll have easy access to the beach with the, the lifeguard tower right in the center. If you look to the south, you'll see it, La Jolla Cove. And then to the north, you're going to see Scripps Pier and then Black's Beach beyond that. Here's your low down on La Jolla Shores. It is a, a wide beach and it's a beach break that stretches on a good portion of the coast here in La Jolla. From the, there's a swimming flag down there that separates the swimming from the surf spot. Um, but basically from La Jolla Cove and then before it turns into Scripps Pier to the north. But in between here, you have a bunch of sandbars that allow for pretty good peaky conditions and peaks and breaks all up and down the beach. One of the nice things about this spot is since La Jolla Cove is to the south, it does offer a bit of shelter with the bluffs there from the wind. So it can stay pretty good here when other parts of the San Diego County are getting too windy. And then to the north, of course, you have Blacks again. Um, Blacks gets a lot of energy. It doesn't pick up as much energy here. The waves are a bit smaller. With that said, it can hold waves up to overhead here. Um, again, obviously not, not, not tonight. It's June, it's midsummer. The swells are a lot smaller. This is when the beach gets really crowded here. And there's lots of beginners on their longboards, especially as you see this whitewash here breaking in, it's the perfect place to learn. And that's why it's so good for beginners. Um, just easy breaking whitewash, usually smaller waves, uh, but consistent waves throughout the summer. During the winter, it changes a bit. Um, it's actually kind of nice because west and northwest wells hit this region better and there's less crowds because it's typically a beginner spot and the waves are bigger, so you can actually get sneaky good sessions out here during the winter time. Like I said throughout this video, this is really the ideal spot for beginners. It's a high rating for beginners, but for your everyday surfer, um, this is gonna be a lower rating, like a two and a half to high twos out of five stars. For your beginner surfer, though, yeah, it is perfect. And when you do advance, you can head down the beach to Scripps Pier or even Black's and you'll have a, a better time as your skills progress. Hope this video was useful and have fun learning in the waves.